first, we want to thank Captain Willis. Uh, he's been uh, he's been a captain. He's uh, almost as good as our last captain. Almost, <laughs> almost. But uh, all we know is whoever whoever comes next has little shoes to fill. Uh, with all sincerity, uh, really, we had a great, a great captain. We had a great time with you. A lot of laughs and a, a great, great friend. And we're gonna miss you. So this is from all the members of Engine Two, and uh, we love you.
and the deputy aide and the men from Engine 6 Latitude for uh, throwing this party. And I uh, just want to say 26 years was a great time. And uh, it was an honor and privilege to work with the best fire department New Jersey has. Thank you. I was so excited that he was coming, and uh, uh, I, I ha no, having to work with him the last six months, it, it was amazing. It was honestly, knowing that you can go to a firehouse, and you know your captain's always going to have your back, and you can trust him on, on anything, and I really mean that. I, I got to say that, at least in the third battalion, and since I've been on, you know, we have some of the best captains on the job, some of the great, greatest, great firefighters. And it sucks to watch this man retire, to be honest with you. I, it, it freaking sucks, man. It really does. No, it does. You know what I mean? It sucks. I, and, uh, but congratulations. I know it's, it's more important to you, you know, to move on with and do what you got to do. Uh, we're going to miss you, all right? I mean it, man. You know, I hope we can party afterwards, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, congratulations. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Some good company with uh, Captain Greg Lewis and firefighter Rico Mayer. It's good to be here. Uh, I want to go out on top of what is top to me. So coming up to coming to Group D and uh, to the third battalion is a it was a great move. Uh, again, uh, I want to thank Angel Levin for the last uh, for giving me for making the last six months of my career just as good as the first six months, and that really says a lot. Thank you. I really appreciate that, and uh, again, to all the men and women of this job. I mean, uh, over the years, I couldn't have asked to be more blessed and more fortunate to work with who I've worked with over the years, uh, who I've worked under. It's just been a great run. Uh, I just want to make honorable mention and acknowledge uh, my father, uh, Sam Sr. He was a uh, He was a proud my former member of uh, Jersey City, and he was a, 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 an even prouder member of the uh, Jersey City Fire Department for 32 years. He was first appointed in 1958 after serving with the U.S. Navy, and uh, he retired in 1991. And obviously, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here right now in more than one way. Uh, so. uh, in addition to that, I just want to talk about growing up in Jersey City real quick. Uh, more so in Country Village and our Minna Drive. We were very fortunate growing up. Uh, we had a lot of firefighters and young and their young families. Uh, directly across the street from us was uh, 
and a few doors down was uh, Pete Daly, firefighter Pete Daly. I know he was here before, uh, but we, uh, grown up, you know, close to the Daly family, we did a lot of uh, day trips and all. Pete did about 37 years old when he was 13. Uh, he's the father of our third battalion chief, Robert Daly, as most of you know. And uh, again, my mom and Robert's mom were uh, best friends for most of their adult lives. And again, that was a special thing. Uh, in addition to my dad and Mr. Daly, it was uh, Teddy Hurlacker. Teddy was on the corner of Minute Drive and Sycamore, a couple of doors down. Again, I grew up with his kids. And again, it was a, it was a really nice thing to have. Uh, his wife, Rosie, was a, a Minute Drive and Country Village icon in her own right. Uh, a couple of doors down from Teddy was uh, Vito Lucerero. He did 42 years on his job, about 41 in action, all at engine 13. And uh, 41 years on any job is a long time, let alone this. So Vito was uh, a real standout at the fire department, Vito Lucerero. Directly next door to him was uh, firefighter Kenny Mayer. Again, Kenny uh, would eventually become the father of war to retired battalion chief Lou Lucci. I worked with Lou, he was my captain. Into the 13th for a number of years, and he would eventually. Uh, the, uh, Kenny was the father in law of Louie, and Louie married Kenny's daughter Jackie. And uh, again, I grew up with Jackie and all of her siblings, and it was a really nice thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, Kenny has a grandson on the job, uh, and I believe his name is Kenny Gephardt. No relation to uh, Billy, Billy still here. But his grandson was on the job, and he took uh, Kenny's badge on the 1041. Uh, and I only know that because my dad's badge number was 1042. So here you had two Jersey City firemen living within a few doors of each other, and 1041 and 1042 was you know, a pretty unique thing. Uh, last but not least was uh, directly across the street firefighter Nikki Savino. Uh, Nikki is the uh, uncle to Captain Justin Savino, that I know most of you know. Uh, he, you know he, I believe he got uh, promoted, he's on Group B now. Uh, and Nikki worked for years with my dad, uh, engine 17, the old 17, on board. Uh, my father was on, yeah, Larry knows. Larry was there for years on Group C. Uh, my father worked Group A, and Nikki was on Group B. So, uh, and like I said, New Drive, as a matter of fact, is, is the home of a couple of uh, retired guys as well. Uh, Captain J. Anthony, of course, New Drive home, a couple of doors down from my mom. Uh, the legend John Martucci is on Men Drive. He's he's on the corner of Men and Second Uh Actually, corner of Country Village and Men. So he went. He retired from the Big House to the Big House, and I believe Stash Stanley Timis Timisky is also a Men Drive resident. So anyway, that's my six degrees of uh, the Jersey City Fire Department and Men Drive. It's quite a history, and uh, Men Drive is not a big block. It only runs from Sycamore to Country Road Road, so they have that many active guys and their families in one condensed small city block. It's, it's a pretty special thing. Anyway, I just want to, uh, along that, I want to acknowledge my two boys, uh, Matt and Sammy, that are here. I'm very proud of you guys. Uh, I, I might be biased, but I, I honestly never saw two young men work so hard at what they do, at their crafts, at their hobbies and at their sport, and uh, again, I just, you know, you guys are truly my heroes, and uh, just keep it up, you know, do, do the right thing, and uh, I'm glad that you are here today with me, and I'm glad that everybody is here, thank you all for coming, it's been, uh, it's been an, a pleasure and an honor for me to, to work with the Jersey Fire Department and the men and women that make this job up. To me, that's the most important thing. I knew very early on that, you know, because of how you make a living, it's the people you do it with that really make it what it is. Uh, so with that, I'd just like to leave you with uh, a couple, a few words of another lifelong Jersey City, uh, City resident and fire historian, Ira Rubin. We all know him as uh, dispatcher number two, three, and Ira would always say, everyone goes home. So, I mean, that's what I want to leave with you. Please stay safe and everyone goes home. God bless, thank you.